I'm Patrick Bias and I'm an actor and a filmmaker. It's not all about the fame to me. It's about making my family happy, making a difference, having my voice be heard, and showing everyone what I actually go through to become successful. He actually called me yesterday. I had no idea who was on the phone until I recognized the man's voice saying I'm your, this is your father. I'm like, oh. Right now I'm on my way to the city. I got another meeting with you two. My homegirl Carolina, we are out. I'm about to take y'all back to Brooklyn with me real quick. You know, okay. pulled up to the YouTube building. About to go upstairs and have this meeting with my new homegirl upstairs. She's awesome for taking me under her wing and leading me in the right direction. After this, I got some information about my deadbeat father incident that happened yesterday that I'll be opening it up about. Tune in. I'm Victoria, I'm Whitney. Oh my gosh, Hi. Whitney, how are you? I'm here to see Carolina. Hi. Hi. You with Connie uh, Nassar? Or... No, I'm not. Got it. Yeah. I'm here to meet with Carolina. Um, I was she... here last week. And... Got it. Yeah. Okay. She's with which group? She's with... Um... And the last name is kind of hard to pronounce. It's, um... But is she with a production or is she with is she a YouTube employee? She's a YouTube employee. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. YouTube partner developer. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll change that for you. Time. Uh, yeah. if you, you know what her? Can you clip her last name for really quickly? Yeah. I'll just um. Send her a quick message. Okay. Yeah. 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 We are here at the YouTube space. Take a look. It's top notch in this place. I'm trying to buy one of these. Yeah. But hang on, my man Park Slope over here. He over here doing some designs. We're not gonna like show you because this is his million dollar idea. So he's probably trying to. He ain't trying to put the business out there in the street. No, not yet. So um, we are in the YouTube space. Yeah, of course. This is something I shot here that I'm editing now. Playing on the YouTube at the YouTube. <clears throat> Just leaving the YouTube space. Found out I booked a role on a Showtime show called Billions. Woo! So I got done with the YouTube meeting. Found out that I'm going to be in the new show called Billions. I'll talk more about the show a little bit later. Yeah, I said I was going to speak about my father and my relationship with him. So, he actually called me yesterday. I had no idea who was on the phone until I recognized the man's voice saying, I'm your, this is your father. I'm like, who? Oh. He said, I'm your, this is your father. I said, click. I'm not really trying to, I'm sorry. I'm not really trying to, I'm not really trying to talk to the man. Growing up, the man wasn't around. He wasn't around, never really gave a shit about me. He didn't have my back. He would pop up occasionally, and I see how he treats his own kids. And I'm like, dude, you ain't shit. On another note, that relationship is done. There's no way I'm coming back from that. I tried it back in height in college. Uh, there was a situation where he left me hanging. He wouldn't answer the phone. Sometimes I would be outside in front of his front door. He would, I would knock on the door. He would be upstairs, his car would be out front. He wouldn't come downstairs to answer it. The kids would be upstairs. He'll tell him to be quiet when he used to live in New York. He'll just disappear and vanish. So it was like, why am I gonna invest my time into a person who really doesn't give a shit about me? So now, all of a sudden, you just want to pop up and you want to try to come in my life? Oh my God. It's not going to happen, dude. And I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this once. I don't want anything to do with you. Don't call my phone. I don't want to be bothered by you. I, I pray and I hope that you get your life together. I ask that, you know, I 
forgive you for everything that you've done to me in my life. I hope that you take the time to love the kids that you have around you and stop treating them poorly. And just get your mind right, dude. Me and my father relationship, it doesn't exist. My father is Walter Bias. He's my grandfather. When I was almost about to go die as a kid, he took me under his wing. My grandmother took me under her wing. My aunt, she took care of me. Those are my, that's, that's my family. That's my, that's, that, those are the people who raised me. So next time, oh, I'm going to be on a new show. <laughs> Your boy going to be on a new show. I'm going to be on a new show. I'm going to be on a new show. Woo! <laughs> Back on set of the blacklist. Just got the, um... That's like my, on my Twitter handle. They launched it. I think I wait till like the last sock. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, can I make it to Target to go and buy a new sock? Or should I just do my laundry? Or should I might reuse this sock? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I reuse this sock? Is